Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Rogue Trader playthrough where we've just had some fun in the warp. And we are we are currently off trying to find some of our planets. Now, we did actually mess up a little bit here because I was looking for the planet names, not the system names. If we go to our mission, uh, reclaim what we lost. So we're looking for, for Telecos, Telecos Epsilon, Crunch, and Mundus Volantius, which... It's actually nearby. So I've, I've done a bit of messing around in the um, in the warp. But yeah, the Telecos one is here. Don't think we've seen any of the others yet. And we do want to obviously explore all of these as time goes on. To the Imperium. Interesting. I don't think that should be blocked at the moment. It's a huge map. And the fact that there's random little things on all of these. But yeah, we, we want to head to Telecos. Because that should be where Janus is. Our food planet, which I think is our earliest mission. Lord Captain, I hasten to report disturbing news brought to me by machine spirits. The matter is extremely delicate and concerns Lady Cassia. Ooh. You see, since her first day aboard, her presence has been a disturbance to the crew's way of life. If you'll allow, I've prepared a detailed report. Mm. She's on Navigator, so deliver a report. Uh, first incident occurred immediately after our departure from... Irak V, Lady Navigator Chaskai, dies one of the ship's runners, after which he went to his living quarters and killed his family and shot himself. Okay, the second incident was noticed while traversing the warp. Lady Navigator gave the pilots the wrong instructions and the void ship was thrown, of course, for a matter of minutes. But this was enough um, for the forces of Emir Tyrion to anger the machine spirits. Eww. Enough of them to start a fire in a service bag. Okay. After that, the officers living near Lady Navigator's quarters began to exchange, express extreme emotions, hysteria, apathy, euphoria, rage. Okay. I was also told a conflict between Lady Navigator and Celeshell. With no more details. Okay. Things are even worse with Jay Hadari. I intercepted a Vox cast, which she promised she would, I quote, end that casa if she ever saw her again. If I may, Lord Carrington, the, na the na navigator's state of mind worries me. She is se self-contained and does not mesh well with the crew. Uh, which is why everyone avoids her. Eee. Even senior officers can be superstitious. I fear, but only you are in a position to talk to her on an equal footing and improve the situation. Okay, so I think the first thing we need to do is go and have a chat with her. Yes, I do want to visit the system, but first of all, we are going to go find Cassia. Lord Captain, according to the parameters, the system, uh, this system matched those of Telecos Epsilon, home of the Agriwad Janus, which we do want to go find. The Janus astropaths have already transmitted the message from the planet. The Agriwad's governor officially welcomes the rogue trader and reports that she has begun preparation of a formal re re reception to celebrate the arrival of the planet's sovereign. Your subjects are looking forward to your visit. Yay! Back to the bridge. Let's find our Lady Navigator. So, for those who don't know, the Navigators are a special type of mutant. They've got the third eye. Um, they are a sanctioned mutie, obviously, because of that. Where would our Navigator be? There we go. Um, because of that, you know, uh, basically, and they are the people. They can control. They, they can... Control is the wrong word, but they understand how ships work in the warp. Greetings, rogue trader. I am glad for an opportunity to talk to you. I've heard rumours you are not getting on. Oh, yeah, I've heard rumours you are not getting on with the crew. Will power check? Not here. I'm begging you. Aren't the noblemen supposed to discuss things away from servants? Fine. Let's go to my study. Then lead the way. I will answer your questions. So yeah, they are noble houses. So yeah. <clears throat> what is it you wanted to talk about? I have nothing to say of your unfounded accusation of my conflicts with the crew. I cannot recall having a single quarrel. <laughs> the message of you rebushes own family. I haven't rebooted a single er errand boy. Ah, I think I remember. The kind, a kind young man with a shy smile and skillful fingers, with too much rotten ochre on his shoulders. I grew tired of the disgusting colour and advised him to lighten the burden by casting a weight off his salt shoulders. He did not come the next day. Okay. During a warp voyage you gave wrong orders. 
I saw something in the warp, something vast, predatory, shimmering with indescribable colours. It came from nowhere and stared at the ship with a hundred hung hundreds of hungry eyes. Right there in our path, I decided to change of course. While it was still possible, uh, to change course while it's still possible, but I did not want to so panic. Would it have been better? Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, but, which is something they do, actually. So a navigator will avoid things in the warp, and if she'd gone through that, it could have killed us. The officers are only caught next to you because of constant emotional outbursts. I already told you, I cannot control my abilities. What else do you want from me? I will be assigned a pariah chaperone? Or will you put me in suppressed chaperone? And would you remind telling me of why you needed a hundred species of bird and what you used them for? Admittedly, I have well lost myself. The day we arrived on football, I set the request to the ship's quartermaster and asked him for a songbird. But he never asked for clarification. And shortly before we left, I had a countless number of cages delivered to me. All wrapped in bright red panic. In a bright red panic with flickering tints of fear. There was a bird in every one. I was so happy. I thought that I would have a hundred friends instead of just one. They were squeaking so piteously. I let the poor things out. I even fed them my breakfast and dinner. But the stupid birds would not stop chittering even after bedtime. They were dashing about the room, smacking me in the face of their wings, deafening. I became angry. And suddenly they started pecking at each other's eyes and attacking me. I then became afraid. Uh, mm. So she's a very young navigator. Um... Hmm. You truly are a monster. Uh, Woe's dog, your step. You are of a kind soul, but difficult reaching out to people. I could teach you the art of communication if you like. That would be wonderful. My education on Nirek V was cut short. But I had realized by then that the wisdom in books is a poor substitute for wisdom and experience. Okay. So basically, I'm her chaperone. Very well. Since we are done with this misunderstanding, I would like to change the subject. I would only... It would only be fair for me to ask a few questions for you now. Do not mistake me. I'm not going to accuse you of anything. It's just that you are the most worthy interlocator on the entire ship. She sees herself as my equal. How dare she now? Um, and you're always so busy. Uh, what would you like to answer? I read a treatise. Uh, by Pius Mobius recently, who claimed the subjects would never believe their new ruler was better than the old one unless the old one had been a tyrant. No matter the circumstances, the lowborn rabble become deluded about their prospects. Okay. Your interpretation of the classical text is not entirely correct. Yes, there we go. We'll do the law one. Indeed, I was not wrong about your merits. Your are the old conversation. I hope my question does not confound you. Hmm. <clears throat> According to the 20 tomes penned by the preacher, uh, mercy and cruelty go through the world hand in hand. People flock only to one pan of the scales. Would you rather inspire fear in your followers or be magnanimous and choose awe? I'm not afraid of acquiring a reputation for ruthlessness. I would crush a rebellion. Um, I will exercise restraint and lenience in my actions. Excess suspicion and misjudge harden the hearts. Uh, one must be a tyrant, a friend, a gest and a gesture to one's subjects. What m what matters is to clearly discern which role is required at the given moment. Ooh, those two are both good, but I will exercise restraint. There is so much power in your words. Okay. <clears throat> I admit I was afraid we were different, and yet you helped me realise that we can combine. I must confess that sometimes I can hardly bear the burden... The house is placed upon me. Yeah. Mm. It's not easy to try and lead a dynasty. Thank you for your patience, Rick Drake. There we go. Alright, let's leave the room, which has been nicely cleaned up after the massacre of people and and demons who came to attack me recently. Because, of course, they did. Because demons. Yeah. Alright, let's go to our planet. <clears throat> now we've had some space exploration. To the Agri-World! Let's check the um, other planets first. 
just in case there's something of use. Like that. Oh, how do I? I've got this, and I need to equip it on my ship. Hmm. Could be an alpha problem. Yeah, let, let's get some plasteel. Right. Uh, hull repair. There we go. Character, journal, encyclopedia, colony manager, cargo management. Hmm. I do not know. Let's go to Janus. We'll work, have to work that out, guys. If you know, let me. If you've seen somebody doing it, shout out in the comments, please. Let's make landfall. Who do you want to take? Let's swap Jay out and bring him for the time being, so we've got a bit more tonk chunkiness. I have buffed myself. I did some leveling up offline, and I have buffed myself a little bit in melee as well. So we'll see how we do. Ooh, pretty. <clears throat> Somebody's going to come and speak to me, and they're going to get shot in the head. Oh my god, I'm right. That's an Eldar. Imperial Guard. Vinestra Viat, a lavishly dressed noblewoman, approaches. I welcome you on behalf of the noble house Viat Ab Aram. My name is Vistenza Janus Viat Ab Aram of, Ka of Coronus. By the grace of the Emperor and the will of the rogue trader Theavora von Valasius, I serve as planetary governor and imperial commander in the commander-in-chief of this world and greetings to you noble wo woman noble Wesarian. it has been years since your last visit to Janus I am glad to see you ah, that's for Seneschal it is good to be uh, it is a good sign when a rogue trader Seneschal does not visit a subject planet for a long time isn't that correct Lady Viet? it means the governor is taking care of matters and there is no need for the Seneschal to interfere I hear praise. Those words, I think, are those words, and I thank you for them. In truth, your revive, rival in the pl uh, Sorry, I can't talk today. In truth, your arrival in the place of the esteemed Lady Von Venetius is quite unexpected. Uh, here we should say it. Theodora Von Venetius is dead. I now head for Divisi. Such tragic news. I see the planet will observe a month of mourning. I will see it will. <clears throat> oh, I told you. Oh. So somebody was trying to assassinate. And An Eldar helped us. I should have brought Jay. Your doom has been foretold. I will endure. Eesh. You can get to cover, because you are our ranged bod. Was, was that you? Or... <clears throat> Damage to bulk. Everyone, step aside. Smash! For the throne's glory. I should have charged. Too late for hindsight now. I mean, this isn't a too bad group to fight. He says. Not a problem. Oh, I hadn't realised you could do it at an angle. Oh, bugger. Okay, we have more coming in now.
That is an Eldar sniper. Nothing I can't way. do. I can't actually see them, can I? Go. Nice big boom. Again, should have done this first. My vow is to serve. A scout can buff us all. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Indeed. Grey hair, sure hand. It will be done. Nice. Oh. I will do I my charge, duty. but he was too far away for me to actually hit. Guided by faith. Nope, that's fine. Let's switch to our other gun then. As the Emperor commands, I act. Come on. Faith without deeds is worthless. Cover. Pain and duty. A ripper hand rebel. In hand. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, come on. All stack up on me with my massive AoE hit. Yes, please. I mean, it's probably I not going to get round to him again, but if it does, that's just going to be hilarious. Because, because, yeah. I may even have to wait. Diversionists? Interesting. And a sharpshooter. Ouch! Not this grey as George. But there of course. Go. Let's put an assassination mark on him and then we'll shoot do. him. <laughs> the whispers must be appeased. Get me a target. Smash. I won't object to you. Naturally. I hadn't realized you can charge without actually um, Let's see attacking to it. an area. What's this? Psyche or so. Oh, cause he's a psychic as well. Okay. Oh, if you'd hit my guy, you'd hit my guy. Ooh. I should have gone there into cover to be fair. Already done. How you accidentally hit them doing What's that, your I don't know. Mistake? But yeah. Nothing I can't do. Request approved. Oh, we missed. I'm a <laughs> That's Someone else can do this. For von Valencius. Von Valencius, that's the name. Von Valencius. Done. I can now pronounce it properly because he shouted it. I mean, I might well hit my own guy, but he can he can deal with it. Pain cleanses the body. I took care of this. My luck ran out. My ears are ringing. He got killed by us as we uh yeah, and he's running away. Don't blame him to be fair. Why did I think it was a good idea to bring the um inquisitor with us? I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Yeah, you will. I want to see For what it does. For the throne's glory. Oh, and I can still melee I attack. I won't object. One up here somewhere. 
forge ahead. Not a problem. Ah! Nice. There we go. <clears throat> Estate Enforcer. Your ladyship, Emperor Preservus. You bumbling brains. I am fine. I can t can't say the same for the attackers. Praise the throne. If you please follow me. Personally, I I will personally escort the governor. Where will you have a Wait, there. Mm. I will find my way there. Stand aside. I've got stuff to loot. My faith. Shields me. Mm, that's all cargo. I'm more intrigued by the sniper who is pinging away. Dexter Spire. None shall stand in my way. Loot. Somewhere. Ah, there we go. Goods. My lead. Oh, there's the mansion. Let's head straight to the mansion then. And then let's explore a little more first. Pay Do attention. See that. Which is a pretty, pretty estate. Time. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find them. Worth a look, though. Okay, let's head into the governor's mansion then. I won't tolerate weakness. Should I flog her? Nah, I'm 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 not that sort of I'm uh, I'm not that sort of player. Your ladyship. So open the door then. Ah, for here. Right, where am I meant to be eating them? Okay, that's something different. Um. Trade Empire quests. Um, the governor's plan continue the conversation in his study, governor's palace. Okay, so I'm in the governor's palace. I'll lay claim to the stars. Ah. Ah, there we go. I want to see the... Your ladyship, most honourable... Uh, the governor's awaiting your office. Uh, I will speak to her alone. <clears throat> Formal thing to do, I guess. However, she's not alone. I don't care about apologies. A local fuss is no concern to me. I mean, the, the urgent need of abhorrent actions. I thought firing at moving targets was part of the ceremony. Stop apologising, I'm not offended. Thank you, your ladyship. Believe me, I am infinitely sorry for the troubles of Janus. They have reached us, even here. <clears throat> Maid of Honour. Companion standing next to visitor respectfully bows her head. She's doggedly tried not to, trying not to turn her head towards you, but it is obvious she is watching you through her lowered lashes. One of your guards was a superb shot. 
How you must be referring to Yurilit, our chief ally in the struggle against the rebels. I've turned a blurred, blind eye to a horrific mutation, given... <laughs> given the undoubted advantages she brings. You see, Yurit comes from a local degenerate stock of this world and knows Janus like the back of her hand. So she has provided several leads uh, to us and where, where we can find bases and secret storehouses. Although I admit at times I'm tempted to send her away from the state. Her unnaturalness means that speaking with her always leaves me feeling uneasy. Such a gaunt, unfeminine figure. So tall. She's an Eldar. She was using an Eldar gun. If you wish to speak to it, you will find her outside. Alone, most likely. She prefers to keep distance from us. A footfall station is on verge of salvation. Can Janna supply the people with their provisions? Yes and no, your ladyship. If the question is, can such an expensive and fertile wa world as this one feed a few thousand void rats? Of course it can. We lose more provisions to gnawing pests every cycle than those that footfall could eat in their entire lives. But can we ship provisions to footfall? Not a chance. Any cargo shuttle that leaves for service will be a target of attack. The rebels will not hesitate to bring down, bring it down, sending flaming debris, <clears throat> sending baby debris over the capital. Our silos could become targets for sabotage. Food could be poisoned or mined. The logistics of transporting supplies. Okay, okay. What's happening on this planet? Several months ago, an uprising broke out. Uh, I was not even notified at first. Ripping worms are for guards to worry about. <clears throat> Alas, I only learned of what was happening after the miscreants began targeting noble families. And then it became apparent that they, uh, Barrett, what the administratum's accounts had referred to as unrest, were in fact organized attacks on infrastructure and our society leaders. Again, sorry I'm badly coughing, guys. I'm still very blessed by Nurgle, and my sound is still a bit off as well. I do apologize for that. New Mike is hopefully going to be here sometime. They have already brought, uh, brought 13 agri complexes to a halt and now move to assassination attempts. Sorry, I had to cough. Okay, but their leaders are slipping for a grasp. Can Janus fulfill food supplies in a current condition? I risk angering you, your ladyship, but this is nothing compared to shamelessly deceiving you. Let us consider the situation dispassionately. Even the most ta talented logistical experts of the administratum are unable to guarantee stable tithes when the shuttles are wary of landing at the spaceport. Okay, so I'm going to have to deal with this. Considering what has occurred... Your visit is a true blessing. You see, Janus does not have its own fleet. We could organise a planet-wide search if we had ships at our disposal. Ships like yours, your ladyship. Perhaps you will find a way to support our subjects in our hour of need. I'm even... I'm even... I'm sure even approximate coordinates would be sufficient. Um... <clears throat> uh... I will get to the bottom of this. I'm sure the rebels will have something to say to the mistress of this world. Uh, I will hunt down the seeds of rebellion and heresy on this planet and burn them to ash. Well, if no one on chance is capable of doing something, I'll do it myself. Well, well, I'll track down these seeds. As for you, you are not permitted to fail again. No. Yeah, I'll get to the bottom of this. I am immeasurably grateful for your assistance. She's not done anything to make me feel badly of her yet. If any of those who attacked the estate had survived, then perhaps we, hey, we could have, they could have been a valuable source of information. But you made an example of them. For the rest of a foolish rabble, she glances at the Vox. Incidentally, I did overhear the guards talk about some kind of stranger in there. Besides that, we still do not know who let these reprobates into the estate. The person who did might know something about it. Uh, I, as well as my retinue, are at your service. My secretary is checking staff as we speak and removing all traces of the attack from the estate. The esteemed Mag Magos, who is responsible for the ergonomic, uh, the agronomic efforts of his plant, is here. He happened to be visiting this week to deliver a personal report. Okay. Tell me about Janus. Janus is a remarkable world, both in terms of vast potential and in terms of work that has been carried out to transform it into an agri-world. House Vyat has ruled over Janus for many generations, and each new governor 
has, without fail, contributed to the planet's tamer. This world was once a wild planet full of xeno beasts and utterly, utterly unsuitable for growing anything. Okay, blah, 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 blah. What do you grow? Mainly Helician flint corn and red turnip. Apart from that, in the southern hemisphere, we have set aside vast tracts of land for, for the Grox population. And of course, I cannot fail to mention several thousand acre of tilled land geno to con cultivating fermentable fruit for personal use and limited export. Uh, who is this person standing next to you? One of my ladies in rating. Amelia. Amelia performs secretarial duties and helps me maintain a constant uh, a constant contact with those families who are most responsible for productivity and prosperity of Janus. I trust my advisors implicitly. Over time, Amelia has become not merely a favourite companion, but almost my shadow. Losing her would be like losing my right hand. Uh, she nods. To bathe in the light of your great... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have to go. Go speak to her again. I uh, can apparently just pop in and out. I was hoping I could trade with her like I could with the other planets. So basically, I'm... A, I need to find that sniper. Let's have a look what it said. The demurring. The aggro of Janus. Uh, the government suggests you search for, rebel, for the rebel's base, questioning servants and other witnesses of the assassination attempt. It may be possible to stop. Yeah. Now, do I need to scan the planet? None shall stand in my way. Drunk servants. Old servant. <clears throat> You're too late. Viad's dogs. I'm a master of my own fate. It's you, your ladyship. Go oh. God Emperor must have brought you here. I beg you, help the rebels save Janus. What does he mean? Forgive me, your ladyship. If your servant doubles up, hugging himself, racked by coughing, and leaves. It. If only I'd known. Uh, forgive me, your ladyship. If only I'd known it was you. My eyes deceived me. There's little time now. I swear I'll tell you everything. Nerve toxin. The inevitable cessation of vital functions is expected in no less than 60 seconds. Uh... Be quick. In the name of the Golden Throne, your ladyship. Uh, show mercy on uh, on Vamba workers. The salt of Janus. Save them. Vizentia Viat, the untouchable governor and leader of the nobility, is creating something monstrous behind closed doors. She uses the Imperium's interests as a smokescreen and purports to be a scholar, but her actions, her actions are poisoning the planet. Did you know that the assessments that fail to pay their due Ives on time have been allowed to pay with old people instead? They even deliver them to order. Sometimes old folks, sometimes children. He lowers his voice to a whisper and leans towards you. I've seen those people. I've seen them being delivered to the estate. And they're never seen or heard of again. They go into a secret rooms. They don't come out again, your ladyship. Ever. Mm. Fresh meat to entertain the noble. Some things never change. Whenever you're on a planet. Mm. Uh... What secret wounds? Hidden chambers deep within the palace. I've never been inside, thankfully. The servants who are allowed in, the ones the governor trusts, they change. She changes them, prettys them up, defiles them. You accuse the rogue traders as appointed government of heresy. If your words are false, then they are tantamount to heresy. But if they are true, it is true that your sacrifice will be credit. I swear I'm not lying. Pray for me, holy sister. Pray for Janus. I am not sure I can last long enough to answer all your questions. Ooh. Well, 
What else? I tell you exactly what I told the people who contact me. These tithes, some settlements have already switched to paying with people. They say that amenable settlements get special treatment uh, from the governor's, governor's dogs. They arrange for medicine to be supplied to them, to the settlement, and security, and then they completely isolate them. All contact leave those inside the settlement and off world site is cut off. One lad managed to get out. He's the one who told me all this. The people are rotting alive in there. Strange grow uh, yellow eyes, stinking dead bodies. The worst looking ones are rounded up and taken away. The fellow escaped. He seemed fine, but within a couple of days the rebels uh, of the rebels picking him up, he started seeing monsters instead of people. They had to lock him up. Mm. There you go. Your ladyship, if you'll permit a dying man to make one request, don't tell anyone, but it's I who unlock the doors. If you do, they'll, they'll go with my family. I will keep your secret. Victory awaits. Look no further. Only the throw trader. Whatever you wish. Hmm, back into the palace, I think, methinks. That's, that's still a quick save. I mean, no, right, I want to do a little more exploring first outside, but I do want to explore in here. I don't want to go accusing her yet. I'll lay claim to the stars. Yeah. Visnik, draped in red clothes, the major. Greetings, lady. Your ladyship. How may I serve you? <clears throat> uh, what do you do here? By the orders of Adapters, I've been entrusted with manage management of the Adapters administration in order to catalogue the agronomic data. Okay. How many servants are on the planet? According to my data, stored by my data, all the instructor nodes for food and harvesting are pr processing their own co according to the technomats. The total number amounts to 200 and... yeah. Tell me about the planet. Hmm, pathogens, genetic chemical pathogens, your leadership, harmless species, mutate, okay. Changes may be beneficial. Okay. Any traces of xeno activity? According to data obtained during initial scans, ruined structures of non-human origin were noticed in different sectors of the planet, but I did not have, a, have the administrative capacity to study them in more detail. I may defer, I must defer the quest for knowledge. How is the governor dealing with them? I have analysed the genome of the affected species and I am currently developing a suppressor uh, genes to make the planet's organism resistant to pathology. But so far, I have been—I uh, have not been able to solve the problem. Further exploration of the planet would perhaps speed up the process, but the Ministry of Apparatus has imposed a ban on expeditions that are not directly aimed at improving production. Hmm. I won't tolerate weakness. I want to find this sniper. It's about time. Yeah, she and Elba. <clears throat> a bizarre creature before you only vaguely resembles a typical human. The elongated body, slender limbs, pointed feature, every aspect. Yuret Leravenis greets you. Elantak. Henrix tosses out some words in a strange language. There's a hint of masculinity to it, but the interrogator's rendering is harsh and off-putting. After meeting gazes with the unknown being, Henrix turns to you. I have regrettable news, Rogue Trader. 
This creature before us is not a mutant, as the locals assumed, but a representative of the Aldari. One of a myriad of enemies of humanity in the Cronus Expanse. Not only should you not trust this creature, you should not even speak to it any longer than, for any longer than necessary. There is no need to mutilate my language, Monkai. I speak... So Monkai is a derogatory term for humans. I speak your language well enough to converse with Elantak without a translator. And since you have discerned my path, I will direct, I'll be a direct in my speech. In truth, the blood in my veins is a matter, and the matter of my soul are foreign to yours. I am of that kind uh, that your fellows call Xenos. I came here to your kind to bring peace to the Lilithian and aid the ruler against her enemies. Will you speak with me as an equal? Or will you step under the shadow of Kale Minster Kane? Uh. Hmm. You have no desire to fight. Reckless. <clears throat> I must remind you, Master Von Kallax, that Warrant endows rogue traders with the sacred right to have dealings with Xenos when necessary. That exceptional memory of yours seems to have let you down. Uh, I have banished the shadow of doubt from your thoughts regarding my nature. I don't trust her, actually. Now will you answer my questions. Why have you sought me out? Why are you helping the governor? This world is undressed. I must protect it from unnecessary suffering. Do you know what is behind the uprisings? Someone's malicious will sends simple simple plowmen and tillers on the path of violence. So you have a helper. Indeed, I am Elantech. My hand parried the death that threatened the ruler of these people. I also aided you in the battle against the crazed ones. Why do you call me Elantech? Because that's what you are. Elantech means stranger from the darkness amidst the stars. Okay. Will you be wrong to bring peace? Something's gone wrong with the world. Spontaneous mutations, animal attacks. Valeliathian is expressing her, her wrath. For generations, this world has restrained the brutality inflicted upon it by the soulless machines and unmindful creatures. But that, but what machine that bad machine man told you? That is something else. Something more frightening. The planet is fighting an evil that has taken root in every cradle. Uh, only that they threaten to establish order. And if a ruler dies, the people across the entire panel will know the horror and anarchy. Uh, awareness check. Her face is unreadable, but you detect a strange tension in her voice. As though she is choosing her words carefully. How did you come to be on Janus? The world you called Janus was once created by the will of my kin. Uh, you're not particularly helpful. Yeah. Ask her to join me. No. Uh, but you are not asking for help, Alan Tech. You're merely asking questions. The answers to which are either unimportant or reeved in shadow. Explore this place. Speak to those who know. A simple task for you. An insurmountable challenge for you, for me. I am very tempted. I am so tempted to ask her to join me. If you... I have to go. Is that asking them to join? Let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm checking because it's not entirely clear. So be it, I will go with you. Rogue trader, with all due respect, are you sure this is the right decision? We know nothing about this Zeno, and she won't weigh into governor's confidence. My judgments are choices for me alone, Monkai.
<laughs> State your intention. Speak, Elantak. I kind of like the fact... Elantak. I like the fact I can get Eldar into my group if I want. Eldari long rifle. I see, I told you. I'm not doing that yet. I may come back and grab her. I just wanted to see if that was actually getting her into my group. I kind of like the idea of having an Eldar in my group, but I want to make sure she's friendly first. A new challenge for me. Hmm. None shall stand in my way. I'll lay claim to the stars. Ah, security officer. Your ladyship, please do not go straight, straight too close to these buildings. One of a terrorist attack from day, hold them. Could be dangerous. Uh, what's going on here? Ready to report, your ladyship. We conducted a sweep of the area after the attack. The assistants, one of all of the assassins were arrested or neutralized, except for one, the officer scout Ali. He sealed himself inside. He's already injured two guards. Uh, I, have, I have only one question, officer. Why have you not already done it? The rogue trader is here. The longer you delay, the more you needlessly risk. It is inexcusable, your ladyship. The barrels of poison were only just delivered. We're about to begin. Um, I want to talk to them. Are you sure? It's not exactly safe. It's all right. I'll take a look around after. No. I want to talk about much blood and fuss. As you wish, your ladyship. Okay. Victory awaits. Cheeky save time. I wonder if there's a quick save button. Yes, F5. As you would expect. Um. Piss off! You won't take me alive! Uh, I'm a rogue trader. Uh. Examine the door. Uh, the door locked solid and familiar. You notice dark marks on the hinges. You're sure the material is degraded. Uh, it takes half a minute to figure out the archaic mechanism. There we go. <clears throat> Wind rebel. It can't be the rogue trader. Uh, da -da -da. The young man practically a boy falls to his knees and stretches out. Your ladyship, have mercy. You are the sovereign of Stanley. Only you have power to save us. This youth. Youth is a time of recklessness. I heard it said more than once. Uh, but youth is also a time of directness. Let us listen to this young man. Save you from what? The governor Vyat. Everybody here knows what she is doing to us. We've put up with it for long enough. Hoping that somebody will intervene and help us. But nobody ever did. She... She turned the whole world into a slaughterhouse. People are rounded up like grocks from the sesames, supposedly to go into the palace, and they're never seen again. Her servants pour something over their fields, and then people lose their minds. They start hearing voices. Mm. You're telling me the people are seeing evil spirits? Yes, and others are going feral and attacking loved ones. And then there's people say in some sesame as well. We've stopped up holding the law altogether, imperial law, and and the law of basic human decency. People are literally turning to us. Who's behind the rebels? Your ladyship, I beg you, don't ask me that. I can't sell out my brethren. It's over for me, but the others, I won't betray them. Yeah, there'll be no war. No okay, success, as long as you keep your word. I've never seen their camp. None of us have. Only the chief saw one person from their base. He came a few times bringing weapons and orders. He said he represented a greater force than we could imagine. He said the governor's dogs will pay for their reprisals in the settlement. But that's not where they were hidden. They keep their distance from ordinary folk. 
We have it all worked out so that if anyone gets caught, the others aren't caught with them. But I swipe the cheap's fox. I thought after I'd killed the governor, I could use the message coordinates to find the base where they are. That's everything I know. You will live. Your ladyship, I thank you for your kindness. Uh. Uh. Escort him safely to the, the gates. With deepest respect, your ladyship. He thinks better. It will be done. <clears throat> Hmm, what's about to happen? Follow my lead. Uh. Uh, additional information about rebels causing unrest. question is, do I want to bring the Eldar in? It depends if they're a... I'm not opposed to having an Eldar, but at the same time... Hmm. Right, let's head over here first, because there's stuff to explore over here I've not seen. Apparently. I'm not sure I trust the Elder, gonna be honest. So let's go to the Void Ship, and I believe we need to scan the planet. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, report of the position of Rusty. Uh, it's Grace Legion of Da Da Da. Uh, the first step of a struggle against the insurrection is... I don't... Uh... Propaganda. Uh, failed. Uh... In choose... Um... Uh, let's see. Fox game. There we go. And we failed again. Hey, but I appear to be... Oh, damn! I meant to swap people around because I don't want the Inquisitor with me. Uh, wrong place. Well, we'll get swapped around now. There we go. <clears throat> I think I messed up that operation, something massive. Oh, I didn't necessarily think I meant to be doing it. I think I may have wiped them out. I won't tolerate weakness. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Submit and you'll die quickly. Show them no mercy. Damn it, I didn't want to be fighting them. I wanted to talk to them. Running by Neric Overloid. Right, no, I'm actually loading the quick save because I actually don't. I think I want to go talk to the governor again before I do this then. Sorry, guys. I'm inclined to believe what I'm being told, but this is a 40k universe, so I might be wrong. And it could be something else.
Uh, yeah, let's go have a chat with her. <clears throat> Could even be some sort of confusion. Uh, you neglected to mention me of changes in the plants fauna. You've been speaking to the Magos then. Very wise man. However, the fixation of the evolution process seems a little extreme to me. Janus was heavily cultivated. Forests were clear, mountains raised across half the planet. It's no surprise there's still noticing consequences of the changes. It's possible that the plant mutations connected to waste runoff from the harvest equipment and the changes of wild oh, wildlife behavior a reaction to the expansion of the cultivated area. Are you surprised by my knowledge on the topic? Our whole dynasty has dedicated itself to taming plants. Hmm. Looks like sciences aren't the only, pres only the preserve of the adeptus mechanics. The statement is true. Okay, yeah. Oddities among the population? I don't deny it. Some of our experiments extract a higher toll on the population than others. Experiments? You see, recently one of the noble families on Janus has taken on the difficult task of enhancing the attributes of our workers. So far, it has involved introducing experimental supplements into food and mental conditioning in the monitored settlements. Sometimes the procedures are disrupted and part of the population suffers from side effects. Specialists of the Graz family would be better placed to... Mm. Ancient ruins. I know what you're referring to. Strange structures. The For the preservation of any unfortunate accidents, I order the area to be declared out of bounds. Uh, some things are best lent un under a thick layer of dirt beyond the grass. Okay. What? Really, rogue trader, you speak to me as if you actually believe these claims to the wretched Phoenixans. I do not ask anyone to pay tithes to human bodies. I am reducing the burden of the settlements which have suffered as a result of unsuccessful experiments involving enriched food. I am gathering the worst affected subjects who are no longer capable of work for further study. Some would call such concern a, the underclass weakness. Mm. I'm tempted because of one thing. If you're speaking as those in our circle, let me assure you, there's enough noble families on world to keep boredom at bay. I frequently hope guests to your ladyship. My servants are a suitable entertainment. From parlor concerts to private executions of traitors who break Imperial War. Hmm. Follow my lead. A new challenge for me? That one definitely looks like it opens up. None shall stand in my way. I'm very tempted to take the Eldar on. The issue is if I get stuck with them or they betray me. But the idea of having an Eldar is quite cool. And I don't want to miss the opportunity. So do I take them? That is something for me to decide for. Next time, guys. Let me know in the comments if you think I should take them into my party or not. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hadn't realised quite how long I've been going on for. I am enjoying this game. So thank you to Owlcat Games for that. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying it. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members. Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason and Jared Horn. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.